Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia 2008. I've missed it. Wait, what are you doing here? But you invited me here. Yeah, yeah. I've never left. I did what? Golden, you asked me to be place. here. Yeah. It's used for experiments. Oh God. What's with the sudden so blind Sally hate? What? What's going on? <laughs> I didn't realize you were a part of this. Blind, blind Sally hate. You guys, you guys are acting like I've only just shown up. Wait, haven't you been here the whole time? Well, yeah, but in spirit. Oh yeah, we have Fadul with us, so now I can take that spoiler out of the OP. Yeah, this was supposed to be some sort of enormous surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really fucking dumb. Hey. Well, okay, so, so what are we actually doing now? Because, well, you know, Lord forbid, I actually try to follow the order in which you're doing things in recorded videos. According to Elico, we're wasting time. Oh, that sounds good. Right. Yeah. yeah. Today we are going into the Vale. We're gonna go fight the Alchemist and yeah, speed this up. But anyways, I was just showing up the uh, showing off the two frescoes on the front of the temple because you can see there was a depiction of Araman there on the left and Ormaz on the right of the temple. Little nifty details. Fascinating. But hey, the Vale. I like the Vale. The Vale's cool. It's, it's a cool place. I'm a fan. Yeah, you're probably about the only one who is. Oh, well, come on! What's wrong with the I Vale? I like all of it. I, the Vale is a... Like, it's a very beautiful place, especially after you get the entire thing healed, but the Vale is buggy as shit from a physics standpoint. I like it. Well, Blind Sally likes like, everything. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to Prince of Persia 2008. Yeah, Enjoy your stay. There are bugs. <laughs> what? What's the problem? They're bed bugs. They don't go away. I don't, I don't know. Is that, that is that real? You say you can say the exact same thing on, from the other side. Yes, the game is very pretty. Welcome to Prince of Persia 2008. Now, do you have anything actually substantial to say? The Vale is a hell of a lot prettier than all the other areas. The game has lots of timing puzzles. Well, th that's the thing. In the Vale, there aren't that many timing puzzles. Thank God. Oh, they like, did get Sigur Ross to play the. Like, they got their track for the trailer. The trailer of the game was great. Uh, yeah? I, I will grant that, and one thing also just to point out, I just sort of skirted around it, but uh, that path that we just uh, could have taken but didn't actually lead to the Royal Palace. Uh, Wait, what? Royal Palace. That is an area I actually do like, so... Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot this game actually kind of does have trappings of non-linearity. Hmm. Sort of. Like, yeah, there, there's the arc that goes pretty much around the hub area that you can get to all four areas in. And then, yeah, once the second you get into, like, the uh, like the actual the set areas themselves, then it becomes just we a giant the circle. As much as, much as I like the, the whole setup where, you know, you've got, you've, got every, you've got the standard gated powers and something, something, Metroidvania, but... I think like, it, it, this, game, this game could have been a hell of a lot more just great if it wasn't so transparent about gating everything behind these color-coded plates that you get your color-coded powers and you run onto the color-coded plates and press the appropriately colored button to get somewhere. Also the fact that the entire world is like, okay, if we look down at, like, in, in, if we were pretending this was a real city and we looked down at it from the sky, it would look like... A fever, like, like some insane architect's nightmare. Like, why do you have a city that needs these plates in the first place to get around? Maybe everyone was just bored. I mean, presumably they didn't in the height of the city, but... The city doesn't even look functional in its height. Yeah, like, all four areas are just giant pits. I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe the entire city was just full of free runners. I mean, maybe, maybe the, maybe the disaster wasn't as much of a we can't keep above the corruption well, like more than massive that. catastrophe as they first thought, the or as that we first thought. Like so what you're saying well, is that this is actually trouble. Prince of, this is uh, actually just a, a Middle Eastern mirror's edge. Sure, why not? <laughs> I'd be down with that. So I forget, is the corruption going to continue rising on its own, or does it only rise as we get to different platforms? 
Uh, I'm pretty sure it's scripted. Okay. But yeah, like, uh, see, like, see, look, the second you climb up a platform, it rises up and like it I, cuts off. Hmm? Uh, I, I, I get. I, I, I swear I can remember this being like there was some time pressure here, although maybe I was just imagining that. Maybe that's just what the game wants me to think. Uh, I know exactly what you're thinking of. You're thinking of uh, Heaven's Stare, which we'll be seeing in a little bit. Uh, there's, it's not corruption like, like liquid corruption. It's like air corruption, and you can only be in it like, for a certain amount of time, and then you drop dead and you're warped back to like whatever platform you were on last. Uh, oh, that's yeah, I guess I could just be conflating memories. Mm. Like I said, I, I, I just, I just remember how much I, like, liked this game. Him. Although the him. details hey, of it are a bit blurring together. It was, after all, two thousand eight. There you go. Whoa, who, who is that? Oh. I have, I have no idea. We certainly haven't already talked about him before in our commentary mm. for this episode, right now. Good old full evil alchemist. <coughs> Ding! Uh, uh, <laughs> see, we so, don't even need to make the bad jokes ourselves. No. So yeah, th this is the alchemist, and for this part of the fight anyway, or for this time that we encounter him, he's thankfully silent, but he's gonna start talking eventually. Oh uh, yeah, the crazy scientist types always do. Mm. Are we, are we so, going to get a speech about how we're not so different, or about how that we're, we're stupid for accepting, just on faith, what Elico and etc. have been telling us? To be fair, I could that would actually be warranted a little bit in this case, so you know. I guess. Mm. Did yeah, you no, know, I... Prince? Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> How many lies have I been living? Now that should teach you something. Oh, uh, Nolan. Well, okay, so that's why the alchemist feels compelled to talk next time, because he's annoyed why did I follow you? to no end that the prince made that annoying smug remark. <laughs> like, oh my god, why can't you ever just fight someone and shut up. Why do you have to taunt everyone all the time? Now I'm going to taunt you in response. Now look what you've done. Yeah, the alchemist was going to leave after this one fight, but now he's going to make it his mission to fight you in every section of the veil. God damn it. The Nolan North button coming back to haunt us yet again. <laughs> but then again, for God's sakes, it's Nolan North. You don't pay the man to be silent. Looks like we have a way out of here. I guess. So hey, this place. Mm. Oh, I was I was expecting there to be like a pan out looking at things, but instead we're just pressing the Nolan North button. Yeah, no, this this Mash is the way I do North things. North yeah. Yep. Again, it's a solid plan. Yep. Where to now? Because some people want to hear Nolan North talk in this thread, apparently. Boo! What a philistine! I want to talk about poetry. A long time ago, this was a place of science, a place of learning. Does anybody really care about this little description that she gives? Just I don't. I uh, just boring. I didn't. Not really. Yeah, it's like yeah. This this used to be a place of science, which we would know because that's all stuff that the alchemist is presumably gonna rant about while he tries to kill us. Well, the other reason that I play those is because I want to hear Kari Walgren talk instead of Nolan North for a little bit. So whatever. Incidentally, this I like I like this main theme a lot, which is good because we hear it a lot. But like it's one of one of the reasons I said I like the veil so much is because when when I just, when I hear this theme, I just think of the veil. It's the exact place from this game that just immediately comes to mind when I hear this theme. So yeah, like it's it's all it's all pretty and striking and like you said when when you heal the full place you can just like step back and look at it and it's just one of the prettiest goddamn video game environments that anyone ever did make. Mm. And I like it for that, if nothing else. And I was gonna say I I like that too. And yeah, the good old Ubisoft gave me a honeypot trap there. Huh. Go, go go for the light seed. Oh no, wait, you can't make the jump. You're gonna die. 
But don't worry, you've, 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 got, you've got like a hundred spare lives, right? Right? Oh no, how... <laughs> how high are we going to get that death counter up? Let's see. So, who voted 1001? I think, uh... That was that, a that's really that guess, was a right? really good that was a really yeah. good guess like thematically I and laughed. I see what, I see what they did there. Uh, those yeah, those warrants like, seem to be giving you some trouble. Yeah. Well, it's because the veil is so glitchy. Like the game will just randomly decide. No, sure, you crow. Blame the game. Shut up. Besides, <laughs> <laughs> so how can an area this beautiful be glitchy? Well, we're gonna see. I guess.